gosh. Mm. It's a weekend. It's Yes, Gone. you may have a popsicle. Let me hit the scissors. Gone. Okay. Do you want me to cut your popsicle? I can just cut them with scissors. No, no. Oh, okay. You want to cut it? Here. You want to use scissors or knife? This. Okay. Okay. Careful. Oh, you always make me nervous. You know, we're vlogging again. <laughs> Okie doke. I know it's been a little while since we vlogged, but we're back. And there's not really any specific reason. I just needed to take a little bit of time to focus on some other things. We have a lot of really exciting updates that I'll share with you guys in the coming vlogs. I don't like to talk about stuff before it happens, so. Stuff that I've touched on before, like going back to school and things like that. But anyways, I am going to cook Kiddo. Well, I'm going to put him some chicken in the crock pot because he is all about chicken in the crock pot. He just loves it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that because I'm off work today, which is really exciting. He just got home from school. It's the weekend now. So we're gonna cook some dinner and then go for a little bike ride. So it'll be fun. And I'll kind of give you guys some updates along the way of like what's been going on in our life the last six weeks since we posted. Okay. Kiddo has made so much progress over the years with his food and his diet just overall just really being like open-minded to trying new things he still prefers chicken <laughs> above all else but he will eat chicken uh in a variety of forms and appearances which is a big win in my book and he'll also eat a wide variety of fruits and vegetables so i'm really happy about that but to be honest i've gotten really bored over the years with chicken so i bought this cool new chicken cookbook and we've been trying tons of new recipes in it and it just kind of allows for I guess a bigger variety um, different taste and textures and sauces and marinades and things like that because it just gets dull eating chicken every day so I bought this about a month ago and we've been experimenting with different recipes and Kale really likes a lot of the stuff in here this is one of his favorites though. It's a honey sriracha slow cooker chicken recipe. Basically all you do is you buy chicken thighs. I take the skin off. Um, you can obviously buy it without the skin but it's more expensive so I just buy it with the skin and then I take the skin off myself and then you're supposed to saute it um, for, for a couple minutes on the stove top and then you throw it in the crock pot you make this sauce out of like, what's in it? Um, soy sauce, ketchup, honey, garlic, ginger, sriracha, lime juice, and then that's it. And you mix it all together and dump it over the chicken and let it cook for a few hours. And yes. kiddo loves it. And I always make like a whole I'm pack excited. of chicken, like, um, you know, <laughs> five or six thighs. And then that way it serves for leftovers and he'll eat it like, throughout the week I mean he loves it it's hysterical like he is a growing boy he's on the verge of being a teenager so his appetite has been up there lately and he just powers through it it's so funny and the thing that I love about cooking in this condo is that I can be in here in the kitchen and I'm looking at Kadel out the window swinging on his swings so I can keep an eye on him I can also hear him so if he like if I was looking down, I'm like, I still know he's not like eloping, you know, because I'm hearing him swing. So that's fun. I love our little condo. We've definitely gotten settled in here. And, you know, it's starting to feel like home. We've been here like six months now. And, yeah, we really have enjoyed our time here so far. I really love simple recipes like this because I can just throw our dinner in a crock pot for a few hours and we can go on a bike ride and come back and dinner is ready.
go up the hill now. You gotta push. Push, push. We go down the hill. It has been such a life-changing blessing since last summer when Kato learned to ride his bike. Just the independence that he gets from, you know, being able to hop on his bike and be in control of his own bicycle and kind of getting to choose where he wants to go, what route he wants to take. Also, he just requires so much input and so much movement and activity and exercise. He's got energy for days. Push the button for mama right here. You gotta push the button. There you go. And I've noticed on the days that we go on bike rides and we take the time to get outside and get some fresh air and exercise. He just has so much better days. He's so much more regulated. So we do this just about every day. We go on a bike ride to Publix or to the park or something like that. And it's just really good for him. Very good, KDL. Right up there to the bike rack. Okie doke. Sound like a plan, Sam. Yay! You got a drink and some chips. Publix is one of our absolute favorite grocery stores. We like to ride our bike there and just get a drink or something just to get out and it's really fun. Are you ready? All right, we gotta put our helmet on. Put your helmet on, Bubba. And I will unlock your bike. Nice. Oh, goodness. All right. We're home. Whew. That was a heck of a bike ride. <laughs> Boy. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Crazy boy. All right. We got some sweet tea because Publix has the best sweet tea. The kiddo absolutely loves it. And some chips that kiddo's been eyeballing for a while. I have no clue why. Whatever it is, they just look appealing to him. And then we could get a few jelly beans, but probably mommy's probably gonna hide that and save it for his Easter basket. So I know we kind of just moved in to our new condo. Didn't really show you guys around. I mean, did an empty condo tour, but we haven't really updated you guys since then. So I guess just a few new updates for our life and what's happening with us. I have recently finished our patio, our back porch, which is really nice. We spend so much time out here eating majority of our meals. Kiddo loves to swing, got the wind chimes. You know, it just really grounds us and it's one of our happy places. So I'm really happy about this. Um, I've got Kiddo an additional gymnastics bar. You guys may or may not remember we had our gymnastics bar in our old apartment and I decided he needed another one. He didn't really need it, but the thing with Kidel is, as I was explaining earlier, he just has so much energy. And it's like, the bigger he gets, the more needs he has as far as appropriate outlets. So the whole climbing thing, it's been a thing for forever. As long as Kidel's been walking, he's been climbing. And rather than trying to extinguish that behavior, I figured we might as well just focus on finding an appropriate outlet. So, you know, before it's like he was climbing on everything. Countertops, furniture, refrigerator, super high, high things he shouldn't be on. So, like I said, it, it's such a, like, rigid thing for him. But I figured we might as well just focus on an alternative, appropriate way for him to climb. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, We've got it all furnished and really comfy. Like I was saying earlier, it feels like home to us now. So 
Maybe I'll do a condo tour soon. Also, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. I, I did my due diligence of notifying my landlord. They said it wasn't theirs. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's there in the background. So don't mind the hanging satellite dish. It's just part of our decor. But yeah, maybe I'll do a condo update, condo tour. If y'all are interested, let me know. If you're not, that's fine too. I get it. I decided to cook some green beans to go with our chicken, which is one of Kiddo's favorite veggies. So we're about to eat because we are hungry. Other updates in our life is just, you know, Kiddo's um, going to school three days a week now. And I will do a designated video just to update you guys on how that is going. Overall, I will say it's been a very positive experience. It's been very great for Kidel socially and just to keep him busy and engaged. And it's exposed him to a very wide variety of resources and, and different subjects and things like that. So I'm really happy about it. Whew. See, he's got this much energy after a six mile bike ride. But yeah, so that's going well. I'm trying to get back into school myself. I'll keep y'all posted on that. This whole past year has been a really big transitional year for us, leaving JSA. Things didn't really work out with my van the way that I wanted because my job is just, although I work from home, I am a telehealth nurse and it's super flexible and I love it for, you know, my, my single mom life with Kid L. it's great. But you know, just due to kind of scheduling conflicts with that and it, it just, the van thing just didn't really work out the way that I wanted it to, but that's okay. We tried, I still got the van. We're still gonna go on some, now that the weather's nice and the days are long again, um, we're gonna get back in our van here soon and do some quick little weekend trips. But yeah, so I just wanted to take some, it's, it's nothing serious. I just needed a break, you know? I needed to focus on what the next chapters of our life is gonna be and kind of building some healthy habits back up, you know, getting in good routines again and making our condo home again and things like that. So we've enjoyed a little bit of a break, but um, I'm definitely ready to get back on filming and making content for you guys. I've missed y'all. I enjoy y'all's dialogue in the comment section. So that's definitely a big part of our life and I've missed it. So, you know, we're not quitting. We just needed, we just needed a little break. We just needed to focus on some other things for a little while. And I can confidently say that we are back on track and we are gonna make this more of a regular thing. Hopefully, you know, you're still interested in catching up with us and seeing what we're doing. But yeah, we'll see you next vlog. Next vlog, we'll do a school update. One, no plate. Oh, right.